one fifty one fifty at seven eleven. What did you get at seven eleven for hundred fifty dollars? Um, I bought a, a lot of pack of uh, scratch offs. Why, buddy? Yeah, buddy, buddy, buddy. Why? Because I'm bored. No, if we're bored, it we was don't. bored. Huh? I said I was bored, so I bought uh-huh. like a pack of scratch offs. That's an expensive boredom. Yeah, I say we were. When that we're, used to be bad though. Like when I'm bored, I go hang out with my friends, and we don't have to spend money to hang out, play like trivia or something. Yeah. Yeah, but I'd rather spend time by myself. So okay, you're jokes. very introverted. I'm very introverted as well, it's just except for just my friends. Like, you know, it's my friends, but I don't mm-hmm. like seeing other people. Yeah. But yeah, I feel like there's definitely other alternatives. Maybe do you play video games? What are your hobbies? So right now, since uh, I am saving for a PlayStation, like from when I break down my thing for my once, I'm putting aside forty dollars, and I should be able to get a PlayStation at the end of uh, the year. What do, do you have video games? Um, at my dad's house. Do you live with your dad? No, he lives in Illinois. I kind of live between back oh, and forth between Illinois, Illinois and Texas. Sense. Okay, well, I just take advantage of something you already have instead of spending one hundred fifty dollars that you'll never get back yeah. on scratch offs, probably statistically. Popeyes fourteen fifteen. I don't like that because I don't want you to head down that path. Like, okay, you do. Well, I already once. been down that path and uh, starting starting to make a U turn. You know. Have you been spending a lot on gambling? Um, last year. How last much? year was bad. How much? Last year was like my worst in spending. Like, How I spent much? Fifteen thousand in jewelry. I don't want to tell you. Tell me, absolutely tell me. Um, I spent like eleven grand on slots and uh, scratch offs, and in Illinois, they say it's supposed to be twenty one to gamble, but a lot of places you just walk right in and they don't even ask you. Yeah, but now we don't do that no more. Besides that, that was just like a one. Well, that's see, that's the thing. That's the thing. That's not how that works. Yeah, you just went and spent one hundred fifty bucks. Just that one time, though. Well, the that's whole time that's I've been what in everyone Texas. says. Within, yeah. You know gambling is like an actual addiction, right? Yeah, because like, my friends used to joke with me. They'd be like, you need to call that number on the back of the thing. And then like when I moved back to Texas, I kind of just like dropped it. And then this month, well, last month, technically, I kind of did go off and buy more. I'm not angry at that. That's not something to be angry yeah. about. I'm upset that you went back to it. I'm, I am well, upset I that bored, so much so money went like, out. Yeah, I know, but that's all a stars, man. You yeah, spent eleven thousand dollars last yeah. year at eighteen, yeah. at eighteen on gambling. Yes. Doing it now, I mean, it's just like I don't want you well, to head I think down better the path. Now this than scares later, me. You know? This scares. No, I think yeah. it's. I think it's. I think don't do it now and don't do it later is what I think. And I think also if there are addictive tendencies and you recognize it, make sure you're doing like a well, group thing like or a, therapy. Oh, a group thing. I'm not about to. I don't. Why? What? What's wrong with that? I don't know. I kind of like to keep my things to myself in terms of that. Because but does that I feel always like, work, though? I would say potentially not because you just went I'd say nine times out of ten. Because you just spent $150 yes. out there. I'd say maybe not. Yes. If you go back and you end up doing that, please recognize you have a problem. Yes. And then please seek help mental health-wise. Yes. I don't feel like you're taking that seriously. No, this, because this like I know me, me personally. This I won't go back me. and do it. In this time. Yeah, but outside the reason why I think a lot of this conversation helps, and it's the conversation again I wish I had when mm-hmm. I was your age and before your age, I th- I knew myself, I thought what I was doing was fine as well. Having an outside perspective and getting some tough love is a very valuable thing mm-hmm. for some people. Some people it won't help, and that's okay. They don't come on the show. Mm-hmm. But for someone like you who signed up and have you know been watching the show for a year, take the help. Yes. It's in front of you. Yes. Don't just but come that I know fun. I won't go back and like do again, you know, like, I don't know, like it kind of sunk in like it was like I really wasn't gaining anything from it. Well, it was kind of like a, it was kind of it was fun for that one time, you know, and back then. Oh, am I, am I getting through it all? Yes, I, I promise you. I promise you, you are. I'm listening. 